What is going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna talk to you about my dip underage. I know there's a lot of underage dippers out there and they can't buy their own tobacco. And I know that and you know, all these annoying little twelve year olds dipping out there, I know they're probably asking all their parents or asking siblings that are old enough to buy dip tobacco products and I know they're asking pretty much anybody they can and I'm pretty sure them older people were getting annoyed by it so I'm gonna help them try to buy tobacco underage now don't get me wrong I'm not trying to get underage dippers to start doing tobacco I'm just simply telling the people that their parents do know that they dip and they don't want to buy it for them I'm teaching them how to buy a dip underage so with that said Roll that intro. So mama's home cooking in dad was begging my hook and I'm sitting on a tailgate thinking about those days just wish I was back. I remember that Texaco that Mr. Logan used to own. They turned it into something else and Mr. Logan's long gone. My best friend David, he grew up riding in a wheelchair. Thought I'd give a million bucks if that old boy was still here. Ain't it funny how time goes by and memories seem to fade away. They built a parking lot on a baseball field we used to... Town by Mexican title. You know, my name on here, Copenhagen. We're always probably going to be doing a little bit of Copenhagen winter green long cut. Pack, dip, and spit, just like Outlaw would say. If y'all haven't checked out Outlaw's channel, go over there and check them out for me. Golly, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are y'all doing? Ooh. Ooh, fatty real quick. Mmm. Today we're going to be spitting in the basic black roadie spit cup. You ain't got your mud jug? What the hell are you doing? Go on mudjug.com buy you one. I would recommend getting a roadie if you're going to travel. Because them big round ones ain't going to fit in your cup holder. So why don't you just go out online and use your roadie. Now I don't know if they still have this deal online. I got my roadie in free. Another roadie. Free. This one free. I got a mossy up camouflage one, and I got this one free with it. All right, anyways, so let's get into the video. Put the dip right up over there. Let's get into the video real quick. Now, buying dip under it. All right, so the first thing to talk about here is is one facial hair, facial hair. I mean, facial hair works. I mean, you walk into the gas station, you're clean shaved, you look like you're 12, which you really are probably 12. The gas station clerk's going to look at you and say, get the hell out of my store. You know, if you're 12, you can't go be in, going in there looking like you're 12 if you want to buy some tobacco. Grow, grow you some facial hair, and if you can't, tough luck. Well, anyway, so number two. Well, if you go to the gas station... And there's a Arabian dude there. Best, best of luck to you. He's probably going to sell it to you. They're there to get their damn money and get the hell out of there. They're not there to, you know, work. They're there to get their money, get the hell out while they can. Now, number three, right here. Ask other siblings. Ask your parents if they know you did. And ask people older than you. Now, you don't want to be annoying, you know. Hey, can you get me a can of tobacco? Come on, man. Give me a can of tobacco. Don't be annoying. Because if you're annoying, they're not going to buy it for you. No, they're probably not. Now, the fourth thing on my list. Do it like I used to do it. When I was underage. I would go up in the, you know, in the gas station. And I would say, hey. Look, can I get a... You gotta, you gotta have a voice like mine. When I was 16, 17, I had a, you know, a good strong voice. Like I do right now. I sound like I'm 21. I got a good old deep voice. 
No, I had some facial hair too. I shaved the other day. That's why I don't have no facial hair. I had some facial hair on my face. I had the mustache. I had the little goatee going. Now, I went in there. Don't be stuttery. Don't be shaky. Don't be nervous. Go in there. Say, hey. I go in there and say, hey. Can I get a can of Copenhagen when you're getting a long cut? And they'd say, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, and then they'd grab it off the counter. they set it right there. And then they'd ask for my ID. <coughs> now, before I go into the gas station, I'd take my wallet out and leave it in the center console. And I'd go in and buy it. I'd put my money right here in my pocket. I'd go in there, you know, there and say, I'm back to it right now. They put the thing on the counter, ask for ID. I'd look at the sir, ma'am, whatever. I'd pat in my back and say, oh man, I must have had forgotten my wallet at home. And I would say, I would run back to the house and get it, but I do not have that much more gas to go all the way back to my house. I live about out of town, about 20 minutes out of town, and I don't have enough gas to go all the way back to the house and come back and get it. And they'd kind of look at me funny, and I'd say, I could tell you my birth date. Now, before you go in there, have a birth date in your freaking head. Don't go in there, you don't want to say, I can tell you my birth date, and they'd be like, okay, and then you'd be trying to do the math in your head. <laughs> That is not gonna work, ladies and gents. That is not gonna work. You gotta have it memorized in your head. And then tell them, don't be stuttery, say it like a freaking man or a real woman would. Tell them your birth date, have some pride into it. And if they don't give it to you, try another gas station, fuck them. It ain't the end of the world, what are they gonna do? Call the cops on you? Hey, there's an underage dipper up here trying to buy some tobacco. Hell, you're probably gone by the time they try to call the cops. And the fifth one, uh, I never done this before, but you can have somebody 18 in the parking lot say, hey man, you don't wanna be annoying, just say, hey man, I'm an underage dipper, my parents know that I did. Will you go in here and buy me a can of tobacco? And give them your money and they might do it. I don't know, it's win-lose situation. Now, I hope y'all's week going good Sunday. Hope y'all went to church this morning. If you don't, then that's okay. Uh, I hope y'all have a good rest of the week. Be safe. Work your ass off if you're working. Get that money. And uh, do me a favor. Vote for Donald Trump. Much appreciated. I'll see y'all later.